I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Should I continue from here when you return, I will continue my story from here next time. attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Is this where I should be? Good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time.
Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress. An empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff. A death. An empty hour. <laughs> Such secrets they contain. For even then I was an older man. I knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me. Whisper to me in my sleep. Yes, a staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sands. But you were gone. They were gone. So I thought. I turned my own. <laughs> left that dream behind. Then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things. Whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. <gasps> Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no!
Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Continue my story from here. I will continue my story from here next time. <laughs>